and we have one more music note to pass along today. Early Tuesday morning, something very ordinary happened. It happens every hour of every day. Another music video was posted onto YouTube. In all, the site gets 40,000 videos a day, but this one quickly rose well above the rest. With that story for the webcast, here's ABC's Nancy Weiner now. Make it grunk, make it bump, cause I'm in a rut. This was not a popular song sung by a well-known group. Speakers blast, people dance, time to have some fun. But just a few hours after it had been posted on YouTube, the video for May Day's Groundhog Day had been viewed a million times. Within a day, two million had watched, making it one of the fastest rising and most popular videos in the site's brief history. You know, rather than banging, banging down the front door like a major label would do to try to reach all these video outlets, we're trying to create the demand, you know, from the ground up. Banging down that front door to get airplay is not easy for lesser known groups and labels. It's not a totally even playing field uh, by any stretch of the imagination. There are certain kind of power sources, and MTV is one of them, and, you know, Top 40 Radio is one of them. But May Day didn't have those power sources. So why did their video become such a hit? There are theories. The chorus is sung by CeeLo, who's hot these days. Does that make me crazy? And ads for the video hinted at illicit material. But the key to Groundhog Day's success is probably that on YouTube, millions have access to it. One, two, you with me? Cause radio don't get me your They can create links to it, even play it from their own websites. Now the question is, will success on the internet equal success in record sales. Nancy Weiner, ABC News, New York.